Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We are going to give you our after hours. We're going to give you the market internal report update. So far, the Dow uh, increased 56.8 points or 0.5 percent, closing at 10.154. The Nasdaq was up 18 and a half points or 0.85, depending to the day at 21.97.57, and the S&P was up 6.51 points or 0.61 to finish at 1. 071.39. Today's movement came from lower than average volume on the NYSE and the NASDAQ and the NYSE 951 closing average 1456 NASDAQ 1707 comma there it is right there 2369 with advancers out pacing decliners NYS 11953 slash 1053 NASDAQ 1540 1082 with new highs outpacing new lows and this is where stockmarketfunding.com goes in and finds these new highs and shorts them because we're going to gap down in the morning and that's what people are taught here to do at the right time okay on the NYC and new lows outpacing new highs on the NASDAQ NYC new highs and new lows 109 to 42 NASDAQ new highs and lows 12 and 75 ETF relative strength semi uh, semi holders is going to go down in the morning if you don't believe me Take a look at Texas Instruments right here. It's in that index. The XSD 2.6, the IGW, oil holders and oil services were up today. Uh, 1.7 solar, uh, that TA was up today. So there was some things. The iShares Taiwan EWT was up today. Biotech holders, BBH, plus 1.9%. The uh, Russia as RSX plus 1.8, iShares Chile, ECH 1.7, Italy, EWI 1.6, the Spiders and Utilities, XLU 1.5%, reiterates a real estate ICF plus 1.5%, BNQ plus 1.2%, and IWR plus 1.2%. The VIX volatility index, the VXX, was minus down 3.1. The VXY was down 1.1. Gold miners and junior gold miners, the GDXJ, minus 2.5. GDX, minus 1.9. Um, grain complex, the JJG, was minus 1.8. And the DBA, which is commodity, was down minus 1.2% on the day. Now, what stockmarketfunding.com has said that we had that huge sell-off on Friday and we had this rebuttal move come into play right here and basically I've shown everyone exactly uh, where we're at here the Dow was up the upside move the volume and everything I just said just doesn't fit the the party and another thing that I want people to know is, is that in the morning we are having a gap down in progress. Google's gapping down three dollars in after hours. Apple computer is gapping down. Now, stockmarketfunding.com clearly stated to you that the earnings would be good, because they are. And that Goldman Sachs is going to report earnings in pre-market, which I'll do next. And basically, they're going to hope that Goldman's proprietary business model that they use is going to come in and make some huge, huge uh, gains on Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is the very best one out there in the universe. And so, I've got a hard, I, I've got a problem that with that settlement case is that look they're due for a big management change and the thing about it is that could drive the stock much lower and so we're going to be looking at how to trade Goldman in the morning in pre-market stay tuned at stockmarketfunding.com so that you can learn how to trade the earning season that we are short big blue and we are short the stocks that need to be short look folks it was a great deal of talent that before the earnings season started that on our radio shows on stockmarketfunding.com as we talked about doing all of what we're doing before they even started and so far we're right as everyone else is chasing that dragon we have the fear that moving forward that the earnings will be in a deleveraging process so 
I just gave you the reports as far as the market internals go and they're all right here and once again welcome to stockmarketfunding.com we appreciate your attendance by watching the videos we hope that we've inspired you we have hope that we've empowered you we have hope that we've educated you we've hoped that you can learn a new way a new approach that with the highest degree of 30 years of experience within the markets rather it's many different decades in the last three decades uh, earning season uh, you name it we do it we're launching our new platform tomorrow but once again this is the market internals update for everyone 